Hello everybody. We are somewhere here in Denmark. We are getting an exclusive invitation from Bang & Olufsen to visit their factory. And we are allowed to take our camera with us. We are gonna have some exciting insights on what they are doing, how they are doing it and why they are doing it. Stay tuned and follow us along. Welcome to Factory 5. We are now in the aluminium production facility here in Struer at Bang & Olufsen. My name is Jette, um, Jette Nygaard. Uh, I am in the communication department here at Bang & Olufsen. I've been working here for roughly around 17 years, which is actually not that many years when it uh, comes to Bang & Olufsen. I have the visual proof here behind me because this is what we call our wall of fame. Uh, and everyone up here on the wall has been here for at least 25 years. I'm still working on making my photo up on the wall down there at the end. In this factory, we have a lot of very, very nice people working with aluminium for many, many years. This is actually a factory that has existed for more than 50 years. And uh, we also have very friendly robots that's uh, even welcoming people when they, when they come here. So, we? well, we have a uh, robot number one. Hi, robot. <laughs> <laughs> well, now we are actually in production. Uh, this is uh, where we are producing most of the aluminium uh, parts for the Bang & Olufsen products. Um, and what's very special about this factory is that we have all the different uh, functions within one roof. Uh, so we can do any kind of surface that the designer might wish. The area we're in right now is what we call our turning facility. So this is where you are turning uh, aluminium. Uh, we also have the possibility of polishing, of pearl blasting, on etching, and drilling holes, and milling, and coloring, and anodizing. So it's all in here, which is very, very special, and what really sets this factory apart from anything out there in the world. Mm -hmm. <laughs> My name is Jeff Martin. I work in the acoustics department uh, in our development area as a tone meister and a specialist in sound design. Ten years ago, that would have meant I would have been the last person in the development process when we're making a new speaker to do the final tuning, the final tweaks. Nowadays, it means more that I'm, I'm doing the final testing to make sure that the speaker is performing the way we expect it to when we get to that final stage of development, right before we start production. So we make something that not only sounds good but looks good it's not just a speaker it's a work of art that that is incorporated into your into your house because it's not always just being a speaker Yes, well, it is an electrochemical uh, facility we have here. It's called anodizing. And uh, what actually happens here is uh, this is where we are, you can say, creating the surface of the aluminum parts. So they are robust and uh, scratch resistant. But it's also here that we apply the color. Uh, you probably know from Bang & Olufsen that we actually have a big variety of colors, uh, also when it comes to aluminum. And that's actually because of this facility, we have invented our own way of coloring. Uh, so it makes us extremely flexible in the different kind of uh, coloring that we can do here. Yeah. No, no, and, and it does look a little bit, uh, you know, you can say very chemical. This is just clean water uh, and it's just with air bubbles in it, it's not boiling, uh, but it's just to enhance uh, the rin rinsing uh, process for when the part's going through. This is the Biosound 2 cone uh, that goes on the Biosound 2 uh, speaker, which we also saw earlier being turned. And this is actually the cabinet as it looks when it came out of the turning machine. Then this is actually what it looks after it has been through anodizing. It is tempting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I think I'm, I'm going to get in problems with my colleagues in here. So, sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we have a metal detector when you walk out. <laughs> my name is uh, Christen Krapp. I've been working here for 30 years recently been uh, responsible for the early phase of the design process. So my title is a creative director. Our place on earth 
is to create a beautiful experiences within audio and video for, for people. So we are very concerned about making products that make your home look more beautiful and at the same time provides the best possible audio and video experience. Everybody at B&O is living like this um, with uh, all our amazing uh, products. No, not in reality. This is actually what we call our B&O home. So we want to be able to display our products in a situation or a setting that would look like a potential customer's home. That means that we can do set different setups where we can explain how you can actually use our products in different ways. Yeah. So, I know you're all about efficiency here, but uh, I think those uh, two robots are looking like they're having a dance or they something. They are, yeah. They, uh, they actually, uh, right, right now they are polishing the part for our flagship speaker, our Biolab 90. Uh, which is actually, we call them the crowns, but it actually to simulate sound waves uh, going around the, the big speaker that we are producing there. And um, in order to polish uh, this, um, these dimensions, you can say, uh, we needed to create a polishing cell that took polishing kind of a step further. Uh, and, uh, and then we created the dancing robots uh, because basically you need one robot to hold the part uh -huh. and another robot to actually hold the polishing equipment you're I doing. I dance much more stiffly than any robot would Okay, do, so. well. Are you going in well, we are going into a special place because this is our decorating area. Uh, this is where we are laser marking our logos, but this is also where we are doing what we call light through aluminium, so we can shoot light through the aluminium. Uh, and it needs to be a very clean environment. So that's why uh, we need this double door uh, installation. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. There is actually, because uh, apart from uh, laser marking the logo on the front, we are actually also, you can say, laser drilling uh, nearly holes into the logo. We are actually uh, making 4,666 holes. I don't see a single one. No, but they are also really, really thin. We want to create that kind of extra magic, so when you turn on the product, then light is, is being sh uh, shot through the logo. Actually, I can show you over here uh, what's happening when we are shooting light through. And so now this is our, one of our uh, test areas, so we can actually test what happens when, you sh when we shoot light through. And what you see here is then you suddenly have the Bang & Olufsen logo lighting up from, from the back. And then here we can also take the magnifying glass and check that everything is uh, as it should be. That must be a lot of work. It is quite a lot of work, yes, yeah. But that's how it is, you know, with Bang & Olufsen you go all the way. If you want perfection, that's you how it is. Time. That's how it is, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think the big difference between B&O speakers and what would normally be classified as audiophile speakers is that an audiophile speaker is designed for somebody who's going to sit in one chair alone and listen to music. Uh, and audiophile speakers are very good for that, but they're very limited in how they can fill up the space with sound if you're not sitting in that chair listening, if you're just going to go have dinner, for example. Um, we try to design our speakers to serve both of those roles. So we do have the ability to go into a narrow beam mode where you are sitting and listening to the recording, but also you can open up the, the, the directivity, the dispersion of the speaker to a wider beam, which is not for listening, it's for just having background music on while you're doing something else in your house. We always start with a wooden mock-up of what the sound should be doing and, and how it should be performing. And then we design around that. And for our designers, they really, really love that challenge. So instead of having just endless opportunities, we have this sort of very clear description of what it should deliver to the customer. And then we have the acoustic requirements to make sure that it can actually deliver. And then the designers are working with these experts in a group for half a year. And then we come up with the best possible solution there is in the world. We are actually capable of developing new ways of course, it's based on existing technologies and manufacturing methods, but because we are sitting close to our, 
R&D and manufacturing factory next door, we can actually sort of hand in hand get these things together so, so that we don't have to compromise and we can actually find these perfect shapes that also work acoustically. Bang & Olufsen is doing lots of research and development in these facilities. Part of that research is how you perceive things and therefore they have built a special contraption made out of 50 uh, loudspeakers and eight subwoofers that can simulate all kinds of different environments. We're in something called an anechoic chamber, which means there is no echo here like there is in normal rooms. Uh, basically, every noise you make is there and gone again. You can use it for different things. You can use it to measure speakers without uh, the room interfering, or you can use it the way uh, Bang & Olufsen is doing it here to test people in certain different situations where they recreate really realistic, practically virtual reality soundscapes to, for example, test the noise cancelling of headphones in different situations. I'm gonna tell you how it was. If you close the eyes, you're in a plane, if you wouldn't know it any better. Ah, oh, this is gross. As somebody who has a home cinema at home with lots of lots of speakers, this is just insane. This is just insane. 50 speakers, 8 subwoofers. Jesus. Our goal is always to make a speaker as closely as possible that replicates the sound in your living room that a studio monitor sounds like in a studio. I think it's almost impossible to buy a pair of headphones or a loudspeaker online without hearing it first. Because loudspeakers and headphones change the sound so much, whether, we, whether they measure well or not, they have an interaction with the space they're in. The only real way to know you're going to like it or not is to hear it. For me, I'm actually really happy that you guys are here. I was in a teenager in the 80s, so all my uh, spare time and money was spent in Hi-Fi Cuban. And actually you being interested in Bang & Olufsen is actually bringing us together a little bit where people who are into serious Hi-Fi actually also accept and acknowledge that Bang & Olufsen is also actually really, really serious about our capabilities and our offerings within sound. We know our products are used through generations um, and for a very long time. That's my inspiration that the product that we deliver supersedes everything that we've done before within that specific category. That's how I work. I'm a nerd. <laughs> I'm proud to say. That's, that's a perfect last sentence. That is a perfect last sentence.